Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome, my Aquarius friends and friends of Aquarius. This is the Divine Phoenix Rising Tarot, and hey, I'm Zachary. Thank you guys for joining me here, and welcome to my table. So please know, all messages here are timeless. You are right on time, exactly where you need to be. If anything, other messages do draw you in, please, I encourage you to take a look. There is something in there for you to hear or see. So Aquarius, looking at your energy here in meditation prior, what came through was actually... It was the Nine of Swords, um, well, it was the look on this person's face, mostly, <clears throat> in the Nine of Swords in the Murder of Crows tarot deck specifically. There's an individual that is laying in bed, and they're just like in sheer terror. So the Nine of Swords is about anxiety, insomnia, um, those things that we fear, um, a circuitous nightmare, okay? Something that is just never ending. I feel like uh, that may be what you're experiencing right now. There is just like constant pain or um, anxiety. It just seems like something will like, why won't you die? <laughs> something that will not end for some reason. The next thing that came through was um, the more I gained, the more I was led back to you. Um, the way that I take that is in this life, as you're going through experiences, whether this is like physical possessions, the more you gain in that way, money experiences, years, you know, uh, gravity pounds <laughs> pulling down on us. <clears throat> um, there is this open invitation always to come back to you, to who you are. And I feel like that may be a part of what's going on in this nightmare right now is um, a distancing between you and who you are. Okay. So let's get into your message here in the tarot, in the tarot here for um, Aquarius. So this is the Fortuna, Fortuna deck. What do we have here for Aquarius, please, Spirit? And um, huge shout out to my channel members, you guys. Hello, hello. Thank you so much for your love and support. I am both excited and delighted to have you guys here. If you are curious or want to become a channel member as well, curious about joining, there is a button right next to the subscribe underneath this video, also on my main page. I will drop a link in the description of this video as well if you're having a hard time finding that. I do have extended readings available. The chariot comes out here standing out. Um, positive forward movement here, so we'll talk about that. <clears throat> I do have extended readings available if you want to check that out. Links are in the description for both members and sale individually. So check it out if you want, all right? Personal readings are available in there too if you want to check out my website. So Ace of Talismans. <clears throat> this is um, Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. This is your hopes and dreams. So I do feel like you guys are hoping for more opportunities towards something. There may be some fear, anxiety with that Nine of Pent or um, Swords coming through in meditation towards your safety and security here. Um, but this is, uh, essentially like unlimited potential opportunities abound here in, in the physical realm. So I feel like you guys are looking for more opportunities surrounding something. You may be feeling stuck in what you're doing right now. <laughs> Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Uh, so this is the murder of crows tarot. What do we have here for Aquarius? Please spirit additional messages. And this is a general message. Please keep that in mind. You are extremely intelligent. You are a powerful co-creator here as well. So please use your head, heart, and intuition to decipher which messages may be for you. There's a chariot there as well, you guys. <clears throat> Some of you may have like a move or travel planned or needed, and there is also a fear of getting that taken care of. Interesting. I need some water. One second. <clears throat> Feeling a little parched. Okay. So uh, back to Aquarius here. What's going on for Aquarius? You are a complicated story. You are more than your sun sign, you guys. So please check out any other major placements in your chart. Rising Moon Venus. North Node. I double dog dare you. Okay. So Ace of Wands here. Two aces, you guys. There is something about a journey a beginning starting something new a new adventure <clears throat> ace of wands here is that energy towards a new adventure a new journey um this is your fear aversion anxiety so i do feel like there is 
some fear surrounding starting something new. What is it? What is the, I mean, I get fear. Things are new. <laughs> Curious what it is that you're starting new though. A new passion project. Um, I do feel like there's travel in here for some of you. 523 on the timer there. That's my birthday. <laughs> it is also a number symbolizing um, the request to be sure that you are like aligned with your spiritual path. <clears throat> Maybe you guys are finding the call to align with that spiritual path and you're finding fear in doing that because of what that means for you, what you need to change in your life. Hmm? I don't know. Let's keep going. So in your general here, you have um, two of elixirs, two of cups. So this is uh, Venus in Cancer energy. That's me too. <laughs> this is partnership. Um, I feel like some of you may be experiencing some difficulty in a relationship right now. Maybe you're you're thinking outside of the relationship even. Mm -hmm. There's some, I feel like there's a message towards the home front though is what's coming through. And having that nine of swords, mm -hmm. there's something that is a nightmare right now. Circuitous nightmare, like I said. Um, having that, the more that I gained, the more I was led back to you. It could be referring to you and another person, um, but I'm always, always more for the love story involving ourselves versus another, even though I love that too. Don't get me wrong. <clears throat> I am Venus um, Cancer. I do love love. And I also understand how important it is that this relationship is on point before anything else is on point. So um, I do feel like this could be regarding somebody else, but if that's the case, it's kind of rough waters right now. Something's causing stress. <laughs> We're definitely talking about love. Two of Cups comes in here to clarify. That's two. that's all of the Two of Cups. Um, <clears throat> damn. <laughs> you guys. Um, so we're looking at, I feel like, some relationship issues right now. Okay. Um, having the two aces come through here. Like you're wanting a new start at something. It could be that you are pursuing love right now in that sense. Looking for additional friends. Some of you may be looking to start a business with somebody, have a business partnership. Can you give me a little bit more info here on the Two of Cups, please? <laughs> Why the two of, two of Cups? The High Priestess. Oh, you know, is what comes through. Oh, you know what this means. <laughs> Aquarius, you know what this means watching here secrets is kind of what comes through here hidden information like i said uh wheel of fortune here too oof da Ooh, all right so um some lessons in, in karma some lessons in karma i do feel like your relationships friendship love b business whatever um is directly reflecting the way that you relate to yourself so if there is something that's going on right now um, where you are thinking outside of a relationship that you're in right now, I feel that it's very important. It is very important to get to the bottom of why you're feeling that way. So if discussions need to take place, discussions need to take place. But um, this could be somebody else, you know, your partner as well. There's just something secretive that's coming through. And it may even be secret to you. Like this is the subconscious realm. So something is coming up subconsciously to be seen. What is it? What's coming up to be seen here, please, Spirit? The two of pentacles. <laughs> two of pentacles. Um, this is the sleepwalker tarot, by the way, too. And eight of cups here at the bottom. So uh, I do feel like something is out of balance for sure. There's too much pressure. Under pressure. <laughs> there's too much pressure for Aquarius. Um, there's a need to step away from something. So I do feel if this is you in a situation where you are looking outside of your own relationship, I just feel it's very important to be an adult. Right? Um, and have some discussions. Okay? <laughs> With yourself first. Figure out what's going on. Don't just be an animal. Right? Like we are animals, but we are also uh, very high divine, powerful beings. Okay? So don't let yourself off the hook in this situation is kind of what I'm, I'm getting. There is a way to rebalance this, but it requires you to be present, to be here. 
Some of you may need to step away from something, to walk away from something. Somebody may be walking away from you. Um, but I feel like, yeah, Page of Pentacles there, there too. I feel like this is important to, to be intelligent about this, okay, you guys? Get to the bottom of what's going on for you. And for those of you that are looking for love or, or friends, I do feel like this is available too. The message is very similar of get to the bot starting to get inside of the subconscious realm, because what we're not aware of in there is what is coming out in our life appearing as fate, which we had the wheel of fortune there too. I don't feel like this is fatalistic. I feel like this is a habit or a pattern of yours that is playing out. So get to the bottom of it. Okay. All right, let's move forward. So good stuff coming in. Hmm. Uh, good stuff for Aquarius here. So nine of keys to start nine of swords. This is what came through in meditation for you guys. Um, being in your good stuff, I do feel like this is saying you guys are fully in control of releasing yourself from this prison, this pain, this nightmare, this nightmare that goes on and on and on is only doing that because you are not stopping it. There's something that, um, yeah, I feel like the subconscious realm, whatever's playing out here, the high priestess is talking about the secret or hidden information. This is what is causing this nightmare. Are you happy in a relationship? If not, why are you there? <laughs> I know it's easy for me to say from the outside, but it's, you know, it's also, I've had personal experience with that too, you guys. Life is too damn short, that's for sure. And it is way too freaking stressful to be a human being to waste your time on shit like that, okay? And I'm not saying just like give up when things are hard. That's not what I'm talking about. This is a situation for whoever this is for. Um, are you in this for uh, the way that it looks? Are you in a situation because the other person has money? Are you, you know what I mean? Like these are, we all have our freedom of choice to do whatever it is we want to do. What's coming through here though is, you know, shape up or ship out. <laughs> okay. Um, get it together. Aquarius. <laughs> you are your own nightmare is what is coming through here. It's time to make some choices. Okay. Yeah. Six of six of swords here too. I do see this transi a transition happening where you are moving from where there has been this nightmare to where there is not a nightmare. But this requires you to get in the boat. And in order to get into the boat, you have to let go of some shit too. Your ego, maybe, for some of you. I do feel like there is help, like help arriving at exactly the right time. I feel like this is you helping yourself, though. Finally getting to a point of like, I can't even take my own bullshit anymore. <laughs> and I get it. I'm a Gemini. Shit, I get it, Aquarius. I get it. What else do we have here in the good stuff for Aquarius? Two of swords again. <laughs> um, Knight of swords here at the bottom. I feel like when you're ready to do it, you're going to do it. You have everything inside of you ready to go to make a change, to move you toward peace and away from where there is a nightmare but this requires you to make the choice to do it two of swords so just make that decision make that change man in the mirror okay man in the mirror so let's look at uh what's in the dark here who oh. what's in the dark what you may not see coming underlying message here you have three of keys so you've had a lot of swords here <laughs> in this reading so far uh this is three of swords this is heartbreak, loss, pain from that, stormy emotions. Um, I feel like for some of you, whoever this timeline here, the storyline is surrounding a relationship that needs some attention or you need some attention in this in this relationship. And that's not a bad thing. I mean, like you you need some attention. You need to give yourself some attention towards your own experience right now. And be honest about something. 1441 on the timer. Um, I feel like the longer that you go not putting effort into addressing this, the more quickly you're moving towards some sort of heartbreak. I don't see that ending well, you guys. And if that is you, you know, where you are thinking of, about looking outside of a relationship, breaking agreements that you have with a partner, partners, 
don't do it, you guys. Just like, don't do it. <laughs> and I'm not saying ignore it. Like, this is something that needs to be addressed. There's a reason why you're feeling this way. Get to the bottom of it. You're an adult. Act like it. <laughs> this is where um, the inner child inside of us is going to play ball somewhere, okay? And we're going to take care of business because that's what we need to do. There's a need to balance something here. And I feel like you know exactly what that is, all right? Damn, you guys, you guys. <laughs> oh, no. Ten of swords here. Um, <clears throat> whatever the situation is, if this is relationship romantic-wise, um, if it is a friendship, if it is business, whatever, I don't, I don't see this ending well by just the relationship with yourself e e even as well. God, Mercury! <laughs> um, you cannot just leave this alone. You need to do something. The high priestess is coming. Like, I see this, like, superpower building up energy. And the more that this is allowed to build up energy, it's going to blow at some point. And it's going to blow. It's going to blow chunks, okay? Three of swords and ten of swords here. Ten of swords is a painful ending, you guys. Rock bottom. Betrayal. Betrayal. Don't cheat on your partners. If that's what's going on. And this can also relate to somebody outside of you. Please know energies can be flopped. But this is the message that's coming through. Um, don't be a liar, cheater, stealer. <laughs> Just don't do it. Um, and it doesn't, it doesn't make you a bad person if that's where your brain is going. This, Please let me be clear about this. Um, whether you may be thinking about doing that to somebody around you, that is going on to you, you're doing that to yourself. Having the thought itself is not a failure. The brain does what it do. We are not our brains, okay? Um, acting on it, though, that is on us. That is 100% on us. And this message is coming through saying that energy needs to come down so that it's not exploding all over everybody. So it's not blowing up your life. Because that is what this feels like, is a bit of a blow up. And it doesn't feel necessary either. Like this doesn't need to be this way. You can wake up from that nightmare, like I said, but this requires you to make the choice to change. Make that change. All right. <laughs> um, any additional input here on uh, what is, well, let's see here. What does Aquarius need to do to avoid this? Ten of Swords. Or tell me more about the Ten of Swords. This one and this one. Okay. You do want four. All right. All right. Uh, so seven of pentacles. All right. Is something worth it to you? Is the juice worth the squeeze? This does feel very much like regarding a relationship to yourself, to anyone else. If it's not worth it, then it's time to make some decisions, you guys. A habit, you know, something that you're doing in your own personal life. If it's not worth it, it's time to make some changes. Okay. Um, Three of Pentacles comes in here as well. This is success in working with others. I do feel like it's really important to not make yourself an island here. Whatever it is that you are experiencing, reach out to people that have been there, that can help support you, confidants. You know, if this is health that's going on. Um, I feel like this isn't health that's like in your control. Um, if something's going on health-wise, this is within your control. Like um, maybe you're eating terrible. <laughs> You're not exercising. You're not uh, focusing on sleep hygiene. You're not focusing on water, micronutrients. Uh, maybe you're uh, drinking too much or smoking too much weed or abusing pharmaceuticals. I don't know. Many different things that could be going on. Your physical, mental, and emotional health, spiritual health as well. Um, reach out to those who have been where you have been and are where you want to be. Ask for help. Page of Wands here. <clears throat> I do feel like you're being requested to... Get back in touch with your spark, your drive for life, because I do feel like that's a part of what is going on in this uh, looking outside of anything. There is a boredom. There is a desire for something fresh and new. Well, if you can't get that satiated in, a, in whatever situation you are in now, then it's important to make some changes. Queen of Wands, do what you're going to do. <laughs> Do what you're going to do, but do it with integrity. Okay. The queen of wands doesn't give a shit. 
what other people think about what it is she's doing, but she is authentic. She's coming from an authentic place and she's confident because she's standing in her own integrity. So, okay. Aquarius. Okay. Ooh. So the challenge here, <laughs> um, you guys have the sun, your obstacle. So the sun typically very positive, happy card. I feel like the challenge is getting to the sun or letting the sun come through. I get this like <laughs> the sun. <laughs> um, I've been up drinking all night and the sun's coming in. Oh, turn it down. It's too loud. <laughs> There's something about illumination, the light that's coming through that is more than you can handle. Why? What, what is hiding here in the depths here with the high priestess? That the light hurts to come through. Hmm. Four of Pentacles. I feel like this is about control about maintaining an image of some sort. The difficulty in this situation is finding balance and stability again without going crazy. <laughs> Maybe <clears throat> like the things that you need or want to change can be feeling extreme right now is kind of what's coming in. And it would make what I'm thinking of is like quitting sugar. Um, like, let's say you eat a lot of sugar and you're like, all right, tomorrow I'm done done with sugar, not eating sugar anymore. Um, there are a lot of withdrawals that you're going to go through that are going to tell you to do everything to get back on sugar. And that's kind of what I feel like that insanity, like <laughs> uh, everything is going to be pushing you back to getting back on sugar. But you're moving towards the light so just take it a step at a time. How does Aquarius approach this challenge? The Wheel of Fortune. I feel like um, there is a request to go a bit more with the ride rather than like swimming against the current so much. The wheel's gonna turn and it do turn. <laughs> so go with the wheel. Go with the seasons of your life as well comes through. Any other encouragement here? Uh, Knight of Cups. But like seasons of your life as far as, um, you know, we all have a winter, spring, summer, fall. What season of your life are you in right now or this month? Do what you need to do based on the season that you're in. If you're in winter, it's not time to, um, you know, harvest crops, right? Or to start something new. It's time to rest, to become... Uh, introspective to go inside inside knight of cups here though i feel like there's this note of um becoming the protector for yourself in your own life if you're not protecting yourself nobody else is nobody else is the um <clears throat> seven of cups here at the bottom there is no right choice except the wrong choice is not making a choice okay is what comes through um, this idea of like having somebody, oh, well, they are my divine masculine, so they're my protector. <laughs> you guys, <laughs> we really, really got to step away from that is kind of what's coming through. You are not a damsel in distress. You are not a knight in shining, shining armor either. You are both. We are all, all. Those dynamics exist within us, and it's really important that we exercise that inside of ourselves before we ever allow somebody else to do that for us. And I feel like that's a big part of this message here, okay? If that is out of balance, start there. Start there, okay? So three main pieces of advice here for Aquarius. Pay attention. Look out for signs from the divine. Acknowledge red flags. Recognition. Admiration for your hard work is coming. Last piece of information here for Aquarius. Rest. Listen to your body mentally and physically unwind. Maybe you are in a, a winter season of your life. Um, like I said, I feel like you you're you may be going against the natural flow of where you are right now. <clears throat> but do pay attention. There are always signs around us. Pay attention to your body. That's something that comes through too. And admiration for your hard work is coming. The more that you gain, the more you're led back to yourself, led back to you. Um, I feel like this hard work is surrounding... Your health, like I said, mental, physical, emotional. 
Are you exercising your body? Are you exercising your mind? Are you learning things? Are you exercising your emotions and your soul? Meditation. If any of those things aren't happening, you know where to start, okay? So let's get into your animal spirit messages for Aquarius, please, spirit. Middle, okay. Starfish, okay. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> along the lines of what I was saying, I'm going to read this from the book regarding, um, like, are you doing something for show? Are you in a relationship for the way it looks um, is what's coming through. The starfish is is about that kind of energy, like, uh, not entirely imposter, but an illusion. So starfish, beautiful, alluring, superficial, or shallow. The starfish is a natural and exquisite beauty, mesmerizing to all. Being around someone with starfish energy is a thrill, like you've been put under a spell of divinity itself. The problem is these creatures have been reliant on how they look and what other people think of them for so long that they may have forgotten their deeper callings. That's exactly what this is about. <laughs> when this card appears, it's important to ask, am I being swayed by outward appearances? What dreams have I put aside to please others? So, in balance, uplifting, artistic, and expressive. When out of balance, gossips and feels empty. To bring into balance, positive friends. I do feel like it's time to make a change. And if this is you, if this is applying to you, it's time to make a change in the way that you are interacting with others. Uh, and positive friends. Um, I love that, actually, coming through, having the two. If I had another set of arms here. The two two of cups coming through here. Two of cups symbolizes... All sorts of relationships. I think it's time to make some new friends, you guys. You are the top five people that you hang out with as well. So if that's not working for you, <laughs> it's time to make a change. And that is fully within your control. It's It doesn't happen in a switch, but it's within your control. So what messages do we have here for Aquarius, please, Spirit? The underworld. We had the healer down here too. So it's interesting, um, the healer and the underworld. With Mercury retrograde right now, so Mercury, Hermes, they go to the underworld. That's why things are backwards. We can't communicate. They are gathering information for us mortals. And when they come back, we receive this information and it is it can be healing. So I feel like there is a note about uh, Mercury Retrograde here getting through that and having some success once this is done. This is a time to heal in Mercury Retrograde. So the Underworld. The Nightmare. Oh, well, hey, <laughs> I haven't read this one yet. The Nightmare, the Ordeal, the Bottom. This is the time. This is no time to mince words. The archetypal territory of the Underworld is fraught with nightmares, suffering, and pain. It is the darkest shadow realm, which we try vigilantly to avoid or deny at any cost. Try as we might, and I feel like this is what you may be doing. That energy is going to blow, though. You can't just ignore it. It is the darkest shadow realm, which we try vigilantly to avoid. Okay. Try as we might, the darkness pulls us into the depths through disturbing dream images, unexpected accidents, illness, war, conflict, and ultimately death. Not visiting the underworld or denying its existence altogether is what gives its danger gives it dangerous power. Traversing it forces us to bow humbly to the greater forces that be, while summoning the inner strength we previously underestimated. Take solace that the underworld subsumes everyone from time to time, making us deeper friends, more intimate partners, soldiers of light, and our shadowy times. Facing darkness and choosing light is the most profound calling of all. Um, so I feel like that's exactly where you guys are right now. Whatever is coming up in... <clears throat> The high priestess here that is in the dark, that's what's in the underworld. Whatever's keeping you awake at night, whatever this fear is, stop running from it. Stop it. I don't know what else to say. I genuinely don't know what else to say. Knock it off. Say, knock it off. <laughs> you cannot run from it is the whole thing. You, It is a part of you. You can't run from who you are. And there is a great healing that you deserve in this situation that it is required for you to move forward. For your highest good. Okay, Aquarius, I love you guys. Thank you for joining me here. I am going to move into the extended here. So if you're interested to dive a little bit deeper, like I said, links are in the description there. 
personal readings are available. I have my Cash App and PayPal links in there. Also, if you do feel called to donate, something in this reading has touched you. Thank you guys so, so much to those who have. It truly is extremely helpful to this channel. Um, and thank you. I love you for it. If this is where I leave you, thank you guys for joining me. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. All great ways to support me in the growth of this channel. And I do appreciate it. I will see you all very soon. Okay. Be well.